Hi, this is my solution to Paul Bacorta's Pico W lesson number 38, um, which isn't really to do with the Pico W, it's to do with trigonometry, but um, we'll ignore that fact. And it was to work out the sine and cos of 0, 90, 180, 270 and 360 degrees without having to resort to a calculator or um, using thony or anything like this. So my uh, solution is pretty low tech. I've got court mat with a ribbon there and there to mark the axes um, and then I've got pin with a bit of knitting wool attached to it. So here goes. It's a bit difficult to do because I'm right-handed so I want to use the same hand for um, the mouse and what I'm doing. So I'll just put that there first of all. I will hold it like that. Right, we had to consider that's a triangle. We're considering that angle there and if you drop a perpendicular to that axis then you have a nice little triangle, right, right angle triangle. And the sine of that is op over hype. So if you put the, um, take the angle lower and lower and lower, you can see that op is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until when you get down to naught degrees, op equals naught. So naught over the length of the hypotenuse is naught. So we'll put that into my little table. Now, you go back. As you're coming up, as before, that is the op, that is the hype, and we go up, 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 up. And the further we go, the bigger op gets and the bigger op gets until we get to 90 degrees. And when we're up there, op is the same length as hype, which is great. So um, op over hype equals one. So the sine of 90 degrees is equal to 1. Now, we will carry on over here. And this time, we're considering that angle there, and that is op. Now, as we move it down and move it down and move it down, we're getting closer to 180, and op is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So now, when we get down to 180 degrees, op equals naught. Therefore, op over the hypotenuse equals naught. So we'll put that value in there. Now we go down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. We are considering that angle there and the op is that but the op is going uh, is going below the axis so any result we get has to be multiplied by minus one so as we go down we're going down 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 and op is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and now op is equal to hype. So op over hype is 1, but because we're below the axis, it's minus 1. Now, we are over here, and up we go, and as before, like very difficult to do over here, as before, that's the angle, that's op, that's hype. So 
as we want to move it up further and further and further and further to uh, 360 degrees, op has become naught. So the sign of that of naught is naught, which is lucky because that's the same as the sign of 300. Uh, sorry, the sign of 360 is the same as the sign of naught. Right. So we'll go back up and we'll try cos. Right. Again, we're considering that angle there and we drop a perpendicular down to there. And for cos, it is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we're trying out for naught degrees. So we move it down, we move it down, we move it down and the um, adjacent is getting bigger and bigger and bigger until the opposite gets to naught. The adjacent is now equal to the hypotenuse, which means that if you divide one by the other, it's one. Great. Now we go back up here. As before, I'm repeating myself a lot, drop a perpendicular, that is the adjacent, that is a hypotenuse. As you move closer and closer to, sorry, I'm running out of camera. As you move closer and closer to 90 degrees, the adjacent is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And there you can see adjacent is equal to naught, so that means the cos of 90 is naught. Right, we will go back over here. Get my knitting wool out of the way. We are now considering that angle there. Drop a perp, so that's adjacent, that is adjacent. That is hypotenuse, so we go down, 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 and you can see that that is the opposite, which is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, smaller, and now we get, so the adjacent is uh, equal to the hypotenuse. So you divide one by the other, and it's equal to... Um, 180, 180 um, is equal to uh, um, 1, but because you're going backwards on the um, axes, it's equal to minus 1. Sorry, it put me off dropping my mat. I, I lost my track. Right, we carry on down here. We are considering that angle, so we've got adjacent over hypotenuse. So as we go down further and further and further and further and further, the adjacent is getting smaller and smaller until we get to 270 degrees, and that means that um, the adjacent is now naught. So the cos of 270 degrees is naught over the hypotenuse, which is naught. Right, we will carry on. Here we go. Oh, too difficult. Right, we are now considering that angle. Perp to that axis. So it is, um, the cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. But as you get closer and closer and closer to 360 degrees, the opposite is naught, and the adjacent is now equal to the hypotenuse, which is one. Uh, I'm sorry, you divide one by the other. Cos is one, and because we're going... Um, that way, it means that 
the value of cos of 360 is 1, which fortuitously is the same as um, the cos of naught. So there we have it. And I will just um, stop and do my little program for um, lesson number 36 using Pico Zero. So don't go away. Hi. I'm back with my alternative solution to Paul's Pico W lesson number 36 using Pico Zero. Um, and first of all, we will go on, I'll show you my previous program, um, which was written with machine and pin and PWM, etc. All very simple, so we'll run this just to show where it was. Turn the pot fully to the right and press enter now you can control the pot uh, the servo with the pot just like that all very simple i've already done a program uh, a video on this now i thought that if i use the the Pico Zero it was written by the MicroPi um, Foundation and it's touted as being a really user-friendly thing um, and <coughs> excuse me. So I thought I would try it because I like to try different things. Right, I will go on to um, demo one. So this is the program that I tried and all because they're both um, going for, I don't know if they're going from naught to 1 or uh, naught to 6553, anyway, it doesn't matter. I just thought, because you can do this with an LED, you can just go servo value equals pot value. So we'll try running this. Right, so we'll turn it fully to the left, uh, right. That's as far as it goes. Fully to the left that's as far as it goes so that's only 90 degrees which is a bit weird so i thought this kind of merited further investigation so if i want to look at things i normally um look at the um library and see what is occurring so in the shell from pico zero import so yep then I'll go help servo right that you have your functions mid min max off not a lot of help so we'll try dir servo that usually gives you a bit more information right you can ignore all the dunder dunder class dunder init blah 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 right so we've got value which i've already used up there then frequency max min off on toggle pin pin yeah right so, I thought to myself, I'll write another program, just so I don't lose myself. And this time, I'm just um, printing the min, the mid, the max values of it, and then I'm moving it to the min position, the mid position, the max position to see what's happening, and then I'm going on with the ordinary program. Right, not set. And then it went to the min. And now I still can't do it. Sorry, that was a max min and that. So I'm still no wiser. So help and DIR did not help me. So then I thought the only way to do this is to go into the code of Pico Zero, which is 
horrendously long. So I thought I'll just go down and find server. Right. Didn't find the first one because I'd already looked. Right. This is a servo class, represents that. Value to naught, move it to minimum, blah, blah, blah. You can get the pin. What else? Min, defaults to one millisecond. Max, defaults to two milliseconds. Nothing else, and there doesn't seem to be a way of setting the, uh, the values for min or max. But if we look here, I'll just move that over a little bit. The init for the survey class, even though it doesn't say anything about it in the documentation, I haven't found anyone doing anything with this at all because they've probably given up. It says the min pulse width is 1 over 1,000 and the max pulse width of 2, of, two over 1,000. Now, in Paul's lesson, when he was starting to do his, um, his calculations and everything, he said that he was using um, a min pulse, pulse width of 0.5 and then up to 2.5. So I thought I would try his values because nothing else seemed to be working. So I've copied that line and put it in my program. Now here we have it. I've just gone servo on pin 15, min pulse width that, max pulse width that. Then I've just tried to um, show initially the min, the mid and the max and then it's behaving hopefully being controlled by the pot. Right. Right. That worked. That seemed to work. So that's the, mac, uh, the min, that's naught degrees. Turn the pot all the way back and It seems to be working perfectly. So we'll stop that. And then I've just got the program as I would have without the displays. And that is the program, um, which is very simple. I mean, when you compare it to the original one, I know I was actually calibrating uh, the pot but it doesn't seem to need it when you're using Pico Zero. I don't know what they're doing. I haven't poked around in it. But as opposed to all of that lot, you've just got that. And just to prove the point, um, I will run it. But nowhere in any of the documentation, I only found it when I was poking around in the, case, in the um, actual code, did they mention that you could start it off with min pulse width and max pulse width. So naughty, naughty people, no wonder no one uses it. I will just run it to make sure it works. Nothing's happening. I will turn it all the way there. Naught degrees, turn it round all the way there, there. So there's my program. There's my video, probably no one will use it, um, and I don't blame them to be honest, and uh, right, goodbye.